Welcome to my channel everyone. Today we are checking out the Moustache Trail 2. The trail series from Moustache is their all-purpose trail bike which is electric. All bikes from Moustache are electric currently and they've been partnered with Bosch for over 10 years. Now Moustache, if you didn't know, is a very popular brand in Europe. It's growing very rapidly and has started its expansion into North America. Now they are extremely hard to come by, but we've got our hands on one. So previous years have been good bikes. There's not really been anything wrong with it. They have won apparently the E-Mountain Bike of the Year Award. I couldn't find out exactly what award that was or who gave it to them, but that was on their website. So somewhere, some publication has voted them as a good e-bike. And honestly, I think it can hold up to it. This year, they've optimized the geometry to be even better than last. Again, getting to a more progressive, slacker front end, easier to roll over things, little higher bottom bracket. Everything's gonna be so much more tighter and well-built than previous years. Every bike is gonna be so much better. So a longer bike, but a shorter control arm essentially makes for a lot better control, especially when you add in these really nice wide bars which come with it. It's coming in small all the way up to extra large and it's gonna have a really nice feel in each size. I find moustache does fit a slightly bigger than average fit, but it's, it's not very different. It's not hugely off. Obviously, this is an all aluminum frame and it is built really well with some cool angles to it. You're gonna get some good stiffness out of this as well as easy access to the battery. So the battery is fully removable. This uses the Bosch power tube, fits in there really well, is locked in, can be taken out anytime. Bosch obviously is an excellent bike company. We see Trek using it, we see Cube using it. It is probably the best electric bike system out there. Just recently I saw a publication which puts Bosch and Shimano as the two top places to beat. They are definitely pushing the boundaries, especially with Bosch's new Bluetooth enabled version, which this one is not. But it's really gonna make for a lot better of a personalization between bikes. And let's not dwell though, this one does not have it. That is for the newer ones potentially coming out next year. So this one has 150 mils of travel on the front and rear, the same all around. It does have the RockShox Recon Silver Fork, so it's definitely not the most fancy fork and really the only downside with it. It comes with 35 mil stanchions, which is good, but it is not really tunable. It's a straight spring with no real adjustments to it. You can't really do anything with it, but if you're looking for a trail bike that will perform quite well, but keep that price under the $8,000 mark, this is a good suspension system. It's, it's gonna have good control and feel, but overall it's not gonna be too overwhelmingly complicated to manage or maintain over the years. These types of bikes aren't always made for the into it, like really deep down hardcore mountain bikers. They're also made for people who are looking to just explore, get out there and really start controlling some trail. And they just wanna get out and have fun. They don't wanna have a lot of maintenance. And that's why it's simple to have a fork like this on it. In the rear, they have the Just Moustache Shock. This is their homegrown, built-in house. This is something they've designed specifically for their bikes. It's kind of like Moustache was ahead of the game when realizing e-bikes may need different tuning and may need different design. And that's what they've put into this. It is an e-bike rated shock. It is gonna perform really well. Instead of having like a climb trail descend because you don't really need a super efficient climbing mode, it's just a two-tone switch where it's kind of like a soft mode and a hard mode. And they are just there for a little firmer grip and that's what they call it, the grip mode and the soft mode. So if you wanna really get your wheels planted, you're able to do that by locking it out or stiffening that s suspension up. And then if you really want it loose and control and bouncy and squishy, you loosen it off with that little two-tone switch. And I think that's a cool little design. Instead of making these trail features which don't really matter anymore, you don't need to have them. So you buy a fork which was specifically designed for an e-bike, or you buy a shock which was specifically designed for an e-bike and it works well. Just like the front fork being the Recon Silver with little adjustment, it's a very simple setup. It works well and it will perform excellently. In the rear end for shifting, they have got the Dior system. Obviously, it seems like everyone's putting this on their bikes. 
it works well, it shifts fantastically, and it is just an 11 speed. Again, we go back to the e-bike specific, there is no real need for the 12 speed. Yeah, it's nice if you wanna really put your own human power into it. I think most people who are buying this bike are gonna be a little more relaxed and not so caring about just pushing turbo for once and getting over it. They're out there to have fun, enjoy the ride, and still shred the trails, but they're not looking to overwork themselves or really get deep into the breaking a sweat or I don't wanna call them lazy in any which way. I still think everyone will work hard and the ring size on the 11 is still huge, but they're there to e-bike. This is an e-biker's e-bike. Simple, effective front fork, e-bike specific tune shock, and then what I would call e-bike gearing. That 11 speed is all you need. You add in that gearing with the electric system and then it just works really, really well. The grips on it are quite nice. Similar feel to the death grip, but not as nice as those. It does have that full console on it. And back with moustaches, it's an extra dropper post, which I'm gonna have to look into this company a little bit more. I don't know much about them, but moustache seems to be using them on all their products and they seem to perform well. Tires, interestingly enough, are a little heavier duty than the Maxxis Minion. The Asagi, Asagi, I don't know how you say it. This tire is a little heavier and a little bit more traction based than the Minion, there we go again. We'll roll back to the fact that this is e-bike, so who cares? You have the power of the motor to run through anything. I really think Moustache thought about this bike and thought about who's gonna be using it. This is a bike for e-bikers. This is a trail bike for e-bikers. This isn't something someone's gonna buy when they just barely wanna have a little assistance. This isn't something someone who is gonna need all the assistance in the world is gonna need. We could, but. What this is for is a guy who wants to go out and trail ride and use an e-bike. He'll have it in e-mountain bike mode or touring mode. The power will be on and he will be having a lot of fun in a simple, easy to ride. You know, most motorcycles out there don't have as much customization and options as a mountain bike does. And I feel like Moustache is really fine tuning that for that kind of crowd. They just wanna get on it, turn it on, make sure it's charged and go. Overall, this is a designed e-bike. Everything about it is designed for e-biking and hitting the trails and going everywhere and anywhere. Good amount of comfort, good amount of control. Moustache might be onto it here. They're not trying to get all the mountain bike features in the world and cram it on and then you end up with a $10,000 e-bike. What they're doing is taking away the sections which might not matter doesn't matter if you have a slightly heavier fork, doesn't matter if you don't have all the gears, it just doesn't matter. If you have heavier tires, it doesn't matter. Overall, you will be able to go biking and have a blast with this, and you will have an electric system to back you up on any downside or extra weight that you might be carrying because of that. And that's okay, because it's an e-bike. The Trail 2, I think, is an excellent option for anyone looking to hit the trails and looking to use that electric system. This might not be the most optimal one for someone bouncing the line of, I'll only use the electric when I need to, so they'll still appreciate that 12 speed in the lightest weight possible. This is for someone who just wants a nice, great entry level price at just over 7,000 Canadian and be able to get out there and ride. And I think they've done a good job I'd love to test ride this in the hills or on the trails, but unfortunately it's the only one and probably the only one we're gonna get this year. They are just as difficult to get as possible. All right guys, hopefully this video helps you out. I need the trails to dry up and we'll get out there and ride some more and do some more videos like that. All right, good luck, thanks.